What's good, YouTube? It's me, Sanitary here. So I wanted to do a little life update and talk about three specific things. First being, uh, I want to give you the results of my daughter's allergy tests. For people that uh, remember weeks ago, I uh, discussed how my wife and I, my, my daughter, we went to San Diego and we had to unfortunately take her to the urgent care because she had an allergic reaction. So we had suspicions of certain types of food, so we actually got that tested. The second thing I want to talk about in this life update is my um, pursuit of or my current routine in which I'm trying to increase my overall one, one rep bench press. For people that are interested into the lifting aspect and I will have more workout videos uh, in due time. And last but not least, the third thing, the third thing, excuse me, is to talk about the election and what's been going on. Um, it's a lot of, lot of misinformation by the mainstream media, which I'm very upset about. And I wanted to talk about that. So in this order, one, two, and three, if you're not into the election stuff, I know it's a, it's a lot of crap and a lot of people are just tired of it. I totally understand. Just click away. That's fine. If you want to listen to it, that's fine too. So let's get right into it the allergy test uh, there's two options that you can do you can do like a prick test where they get like these needles and it takes like 15 minutes they test certain foods and then when they put it on your back if there's a response it kind of like you know has a reaction my wife did it years ago um, but it takes like 15 minutes and it's very uncomfortable especially for a one and a half year old the other one is a blood test so we opted for the blood test uh, it was still a little bit tough because it takes about a minute and a half and she was kind of crying and screaming hurts my heart but we did it got the results from the allergist and we tested for a few things one we tested for flax seeds because that was in the oatmeal that she had in san diego it also had chia seeds but for some reason they can't test for chia seeds so we tested for the flax seeds the results came back and they give you a numeric number um, the higher the number the more allergic um, that she is to a certain food so it's like moderate none mild moderate severe have really have extremely severe blah 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 her numeric number was pretty much off the charts so it's a very unfortunate so it was like one of the highest ones sorry if you hear some people doing the, the lawn so the flaxseed's not that big of a deal it's not an everyday food so no harm no foul the uh, second food that we tested for was salmon because we've given her salmon in the past and she's had a little bit of a reaction it wasn't as bad as her throwing up and it wasn't systemic but she did have some reactions so we tested for salmon it came back um, as allergic not as severe as the flaxseed but still she is allergic to salmon the doctor said that with salmon especially at her age is a 90 percent chance that she won't um, develop a tolerance for it now salmon it's a good food you've seen some of my cooking videos but you know it's good a good source of omega-3s but I prefer uh, different types of fish some uh, white fish cod and stuff like that so if she can't eat salmon you can't eat salmon speaking of white fish we or white fish and seafood in general the last thing we tested for was uh, shellfish slash uh, shrimp that one was a mild uh, case of reaction so we could maybe give a little bit at a time in a controlled setting at the doctors if you want to or, or later on and make sure we have the benadryl and or the um, steroid uh, available with the um, the uh, pen the uh, what was it called the uh, epi pen and uh, so that's it all right, let's get to the second thing uh, for the bench press. Um, so because I'm a little bit older, you know, it's like it's hard to like maintain strength. But if I really put my mind to it and I have a set a set mindset, I can I can try to increase my strength. So I've been doing that. I haven't been posting it because like a year, a year and a half ago, I was getting up to about 215, 220. And I only weigh like 130 right now, one, not even 135. And uh, so today I benched uh, two, uh, 215. So usually right when I'm around the 220, 220, 220 225 mark, that's where I kind of stall out. My ultimate goal, I'm not sure. I think on camera I did a sloppy two, uh, 235, but I don't count that. So probably like 230. So I'm pretty close. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. I've been really working on controlling the weight, uh, trying different different um, rep schemes. Uh, and I'll get all into, all into that, especially if I am able to increase my strength these are a lot of tips that a lot of people that do powerlifting already know nonetheless i will share 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 you uh, those tips as i hopefully get stronger i did 215 pretty good i think so next week i'll try to go to 220 all right now that's out of the way um election time uh the media has declared 
Joe Biden the winner. Now, I, was, I just want to first and foremost state that the media is being absolutely careless by declaring Joe Biden the, the winner prematurely because the votes are still being counted. The media does not decide and uh, give uh, Biden the president-elect uh, label. Uh, he got the votes, but Arizona was got rescinded and still being counted, and uh, that's that's the bone I want to pick with the uh, the media. The media is doing a complete 100% a disservice to America right now by by prematurely calling the election. They are setting setting it up for a complete another riot either later this year of 2020 or early 2021 i could just see it happening and i don't think the media even cares about it the media wants to project biden as the winner to show that their polls which are completely off again they want to save face on their polls and also if they do do this then and if the decision gets to reverse to trump the more riots will happen and they will keep trying to uh, increase their ratings so it's kind of crazy that only three percent so i heard a recent poll only three percent of america believes that um the race is not over and some people might say oh well is it or is it because you're pro trump this and that it has nothing to do with that it has to do with the facts so uh right now there in michigan there is there are over 2800 incidents report incident uh reports regarding not being able to see not be, being a poll watcher not being able to watch there is something called the dominion uh, computer uh, quote a glitch and i've used that term very loosely in which six thousand votes went f directly from uh, trump to biden uh, in nevada they're they've been finding out more and more people that are voting um, that don't even live in nevada and that's you can't do that there are dead dead there are documented dead people in pennsylvania that um, have voted and have um, and uh, what else there's uh, there's there's a lot of other things so so essentially um, right now currently as I, as I uh, talk about this Trump has uh, actually 232 electorals he has 214 if you look right now but if you want Alaska and you want North Carolina is at 232 so you know uh, he's got to win some other states but this is not here me to promote one one over one over one candidate over another we just want a fair um election process and um if by chance um all the allegations prove that it's not enough in courts then biden will be our president and we just got to take and take it on the chin um even if you don't like him or maybe you do and that's it and if uh trump wins it gets overturned then the the that means the courts have decided that it there was there was fraud in certain states. Now, a lot of Republicans are pretty angry right now, but we're not looting and rioting. Um, but can I can I be confident? Can I be confident to say that if it gets overturned, that there's not going to be more looting and rioting? I I hope I'm wrong, but I just feel like it's going to happen again, and that's why I'm so pissed off at the media media because they're given giving. The rest of America and also big tech. I'm not going to take you guys off the off the off the chain, off the hook. Big tech as well. You guys are responsible for giving out true information and by misleading the public into believing and giving false hope that Biden has 100% won. The the electoral college the the, the votes are all not in yet. You know, like I said, uh, Fox News they Fox News too they. They called Arizona way too quick. There was only like 54% reporting. There's still on over 600, 700,000 votes to remain. How can you call Arizona that early? How can you do that? How can you do that but not call Pennsylvania when Trump is um, up 700K with 85% voting? It just doesn't add up. It just does not add up. All the swing states, he's winning it, and then right the night of it, just everything just freezes. It's a lot of fishy stuff going on. Like I said, I don't want to give the... I don't want to give accusations 100 percent but that's why it's being investigated so to say that there isn't the left is saying that there is no proof of it they're, they're um, not reporting anything they're just trying to shoe it underneath the rug bury it under under bury, bury the hatchet bury it under the under the, the mattress the rug it's it's not 
it's it's not reporting. So I'm even Fox. I'm not just picking on CNN, MSNBC, the the rest. I'm picking on Fox News as well. All of them, you know. So I'm getting my reporting from other people, from civilians who actually have raw data. Um, listen to differing viewpoints. And getting my information like that so um i'm done watching the the media because they just f add fuel to the fire doesn't matter if you're if you're left wing right wing they're just they're the ones causing more of the divide and they keep blaming everything on one person um so we'll see what happens um what do i think is going to happen if, if you're wondering i'm not 100 percent sure i mean who is at this point but I think that Pennsylvania, there's a lot of fraud, and I think Pennsylvania is going to get overturned. And then with the recounting of Georgia, I think he's going to win that. And then, oh, it's going to be a toss-up with the remaining states, the Wisconsin, the Nevada, Arizona, and uh, Michigan. If he wins one of those four, then it's going to get overturned. And whether you like it or not, it, it, you know, it might just get overturned there, or it could go directly if it's still circumstantial, it could go to the Supreme Court, which could get even crazier, but um, we'll see what happens. So that's my time. Thanks for watching, and let me know you guys and gals' and thoughts. I know this is a very trying time for many people. It's been weighing on, on me um, more so than maybe some other people, but I'm not here to cause divide. I'm not here to... to um, you know, make other people feel bad for having a differing opinion, but it just, it bothers me that the media is doing this and also it, it, the people that are just so blind and they can't see that this is, I mean, these are poll workers, poll watchers, poll workers who are doing it voluntarily, who are going to testify under oath. So you, you're going to tell me 50 people are going to testify under oath, they're all lying. They're going to risk their job. You go to jail for that. You're a volunteer, and it's not just one person. It's not one. It's not one. It's not one whistleblower. There's multiple, 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 multiple. They're gonna risk their job, their career, their family, their life, just so they they want one candidate to win over another. I guess we'll see. Okay, so that's it. Twelve minutes. Talk to you later. Bye.